In Excel, conditional formatting can be used to automatically format the appearance of cells on a worksheet. To use conditional formatting, we must create one or more rules. In the context of conditional formatting, a rule checks whether the value of a cell meets a specified condition. If the condition is met, Excel will automatically format the appearance of the cell according to our preferences. Let's see a few examples of conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. This worksheet contains viewership data for three different animated series over the course of three years. As our first example of conditional formatting, let's ask Excel to automatically apply some colored data bars to the overall average viewership numbers in column B. To do this, we first select all of the values in column B, after which we click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down box on the Home ribbon. We then select the Data Bars option, and for our example, I will use a green gradient fill. As we can see, Excel has added green bars to the background of each cell. The width of each bar allows us to easily see how the value in each cell compares to all of the other values in the column. In our current example, we can easily see that South Park has the greatest number of viewers per episode while the viewership numbers for Archer and Futurama are somewhat similar to each other. Next, let's see an example of how to use conditional formatting with a custom rule. In our scenario, let's imagine that a potential advertiser wants to limit her risk by purchasing advertising only on shows whose viewership numbers have been reasonably stable over time. The advertiser can quickly identify the shows whose viewership numbers have been unstable by using conditional formatting with a custom cell highlighting rule. To begin, we'll select all of the values in column E, which represent the range of viewership for each show over time. Next, we'll click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down box, select Highlight Cells Rules, and then, for our purposes, let's choose the Greater Than option. When the Greater Than Conditional Formatting dialog box appears, we can tell Excel to automatically format the appearance of any cells whose values are greater than a particular threshold. For our purposes, let's establish a threshold of 500,000 viewers. Then tell Excel to use a light red fill on any cells that meet our criterion. When I click on the OK button, Excel automatically highlights any cells in the selected range whose values exceed our threshold of 500,000 viewers. In this case, we can see that the cell associated with South Park has been highlighted in light red. If we were to change the values of any of the other cells in column E, such that they exceeded our threshold of 500,000 viewers, we would see that Excel would also automatically highlight that cell in light red. As you can see, conditional formatting can be a very useful way of gaining visual insights into the data on a worksheet. Excel provides many more conditional formatting options than those that were demonstrated here, so I encourage you to explore these options on your own. I'm sure you will quickly discover just how flexible and useful conditional formatting can be.